So Black Forest Labs just dropped a major update with Flux 1.1 Pro, bringing AI image generation to a new level with ultra-realistic visuals and high-speed 4K resolution. We'll also dig into Google's new AI hub in Saudi Arabia, Microsoft's AI-powered Xbox chatbot, a startup using AI to sniff out fake sneakers, and how Cartier is blending AI with luxury exhibitions. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. Let's kick off with Black Forest Labs and their updated Flux 1.1 Pro Image Generator. If you're familiar with Stable Diffusion, the popular open source AI for image generation, you'll recognize some of the team here. The folks at Black Forest Labs were actually part of the original crew that developed Stable Diffusion. After leaving, they went on to launch Flux, a model that's pushing AI-generated imagery even further. So with Flux 1.1 Pro, there are two major new features, Ultra Mode and Raw Mode. Ultra Mode is one of the most talked about features of Flux 1.1 Pro. It's all about delivering high-resolution images up to 4K resolution without sacrificing speed or image quality. In the world of AI-generated art, high resolution often comes at a steep cost. Models tend to slow down dramatically, sometimes taking minutes to process a single image. Flux's Ultra Mode changes that. According to Black Forest Labs, it processes images more than 2.5 times faster than other high-resolution AI models, producing a 4K image in roughly 10 seconds. This speed doesn't come at the cost of detail either. Many high-res models on the market struggle with what's called prompt adherence, meaning they don't always stay true to the input text, especially when processing larger images. Flux's Ultra Mode has been fine-tuned to maintain accuracy, which is a big deal for professionals who rely on prompt precision. This feature alone makes Ultra Mode incredibly valuable for industries like digital marketing, content creation, and even gaming, where high-quality visuals need to be generated quickly and consistently. The pricing model for Ultra Mode is competitive as well, costing about six cents per image. For freelancers, studios, and companies that need high-res images regularly, this cost is lower than many alternatives out there, especially given the quality and speed. Ultra Mode is particularly appealing to those who work in areas like advertising or media production, where quality can't be compromised and deadlines are tight. Then there's Raw Mode, which offers a completely different aesthetic. One of the biggest criticisms of AI art, especially with earlier models, is that it often looks a bit too polished, almost synthetic. Raw Mode addresses that by aiming to capture the imperfections and candid qualities you'd expect from a real-life photo. Black Forest Labs describes this as creating a less synthetic, more natural aesthetic. With Raw Mode, Flux generates images that look like they were captured in the moment, even if they're completely fabricated by the AI. This mode focuses on diversifying human subjects, adding more realistic textures, expressions, and variations. For instance, when generating portraits, raw mode can simulate natural lighting, subtle facial imperfections, and nuanced expressions. The result is a level of depth and diversity that's rare in other AI models, making the images feel much closer to authentic, candid snapshots. Raw mode is particularly useful for fields that prioritize a natural look. Think photojournalism style content, documentary projects, or lifestyle brands that rely on a genuine, unfiltered aesthetic. Black Forest Labs has showcased some examples, from portraits to nature shots, and even some offbeat ones like an octopus in a top hat in a bathtub. The mode's versatility lets creators experiment with everything from realistic street scenes to surrealist, narrative-driven images. In the AI scene, Flux 1.1 Pro has been climbing up the Artificial Analysis Image Arena leaderboard, where it's currently one of the top-rated models, even outperforming some bigger names like Ideogram V2 and Midjourney V6.1. For developers wanting to incorporate Flux into their own apps, Black Forest Labs has launched a beta BFL API. It's scalable and priced competitively, so it should be interesting to see what people build with it. Now, one topic that often comes up with generative AI is data ethics. Black Forest Labs has not publicly detailed the training data used to create Flux. Given the pattern in the industry, it's likely that their training set involved large-scale scraping of internet images, a practice that has fueled debate over copyright and consent. Stability AI, the team's previous employer, is currently facing a significant lawsuit from Getty Images due to unauthorized use of their content in training stable diffusion. If similar issues arise with Flux, Black Forest Labs could find itself in legal trouble as well. All right, now Google's making a big move in the Middle East by opening an AI-focused data center in Saudi Arabia. This center is designed to help develop Arabic language AI models and create AI applications specifically tailored to Saudi Arabia. 
It's part of the country's Vision 2030 initiative, which is focused on reducing dependency on oil by diversifying into sectors like tech and AI. Saudi Arabia has a huge investment fund, around $500 billion for new technologies, and they're making AI a priority. They're even using it in their oil industry, where AI-driven systems have boosted oil production by 15% in certain fields. Saudi Arabia's goal here is to increase industrial efficiency and keep pace with global tech advancements. Now, Google's involvement has stirred up some questions about their environmental commitments. Back in 2020, Google said it would cut back on projects supporting fossil fuel companies and pledge to halve their carbon emissions by 2030. So their expansion into Saudi Arabia, a country still heavily invested in oil, has led some to ask how this lines up with those commitments. Google insists this move doesn't conflict with their climate goals, but it highlights the tight balance companies face between growing globally and meeting environmental expectations. Moving into gaming, Microsoft's rolled out a new AI-powered support chatbot for Xbox. Right now, Xbox insiders in the US can try it out on support.xbox.com. It's there to handle support questions about everything from console issues to in-game problems, helping players get faster answers. The chatbot itself appears as either a colorful Xbox orb or a character that animates while responding. It's actually part of a larger shift at Microsoft to bring more AI into Xbox's ecosystem. Future plans include adding AI to game content creation, game testing, and even creating generative AI-driven NPCs, non-player characters. Microsoft is working with InWorld AI on this, so we could see more dynamic NPCs in upcoming games. CEO Satya Nadella has been pushing all of Microsoft's divisions to focus on AI, and Xbox is now getting a taste of it. The chatbot marks a careful but significant step forward for Xbox in adopting AI especially in the way it improves user experience by delivering faster AI-driven support. This next one is pretty unique. A startup named Osmo has developed tech to authenticate sneakers by their smell. Yep, they're using AI to sniff out counterfeit sneakers by analyzing scent profiles. Founded by Alex Wilchko, a former Google researcher, Osmo uses AI-enabled sensors to pick up on subtle markers like factory chemicals and adhesives that are usually hard to detect otherwise. They've already started testing this tech, comparing 10 real sneakers to 10 fake ones for two Nike models with over 95% accuracy in distinguishing the authentic ones. It's impressive given the scale of the counterfeit sneaker market estimated to be worth around $450 billion, about five times the value of the legitimate sneaker market. With this tech, Osmo can pick up specific scent markers like an animal fur smell on certain Nike models, while fakes often smell like glue. The startup has been piloting this technology with a secondhand sneaker platform, and if it scales up, this scent-driven tech could be huge for the sneaker industry, adding a whole new layer of authentication. Finally, let's talk about Cartier. The luxury brand is merging AI with its heritage for an exhibition in Shanghai's Museum East. Titled Cartier, The Power of Magic, this exhibition includes over 300 pieces of Cartier jewelry and artifacts from around the world. Some of the notable pieces include Maria Felix's flexible snake necklace from 1968, the Duchess of Windsor's panther brooch from 1949, and a range of Cartier's famous mystery clocks. For the exhibit's design, Cartier partnered with Chinese artist Kai Guoqiang, who created a custom AI model called Kaim specifically for this project. The AI-driven design brings the exhibition to life in a way that goes beyond traditional displays, creating an immersive experience for visitors. It's not only a first for Cartier, but also for the museum itself, showing how luxury brands are using AI to appeal to tech-savvy audiences in new ways. So what do you think about these AI updates? Are we seeing the future of everyday tech? Drop your thoughts below, and if you enjoyed this dive, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI insights. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.